reaction to the death of Nelson Mandela pouring in from around the world tonight and also right here at home. News Channel 5's John Kosick tonight speaking with a local man who had the chance to meet Mandela while working in South Africa to aid in Mandela's efforts. That's right, Chris. Case Western Law Professor Michael Benza tonight sharing with us the unique view he had of not only this man, but his impact on the people of South Africa and the world. When Nelson Mandela was released from prison in 1990, Michael Benza remembers watching from Case Western, where he was a law student. And the recognition, I think, by everybody in the world that this, that the change in South Africa was inevitable. Two years later, he was awarded a fellowship to work with a legal resources center, an agency run by a close friend of Mandela's. I got to meet him. He, he would come to our offices often. He had a, a presence about him that no matter what you thought of his poli his politics or his ideology or any of that thing, he just, you liked him and you wanted to work with him and you wanted to talk with him and he wanted to know what you were thinking and what did you want to see happen. This was before Mandela was elected president. Everybody knew Mandela was going to win the election, but even knowing that, he never once took that as a granted um, or, or used that as a way to say, now we're in charge. That is what separated Mandela from the politicians, not only in his own country, but throughout the world. He led by example and was moved not by party, race, or religion, Benza says. He was moved by what was right. You see a person like him only come around once in a while. You know, you put him with somebody like Mother Teresa um, on the impact that he had on the world just by being who he was. You knew that he was doing this because it was the right thing to do. And the man who ran the Legal Resources Center in Johannesburg that Benza went to work for went on to become the first Chief Justice of South Africa's Constitutional Court. Live in the newsroom, John Kasich, News Channel 5.